Well, 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 Halloween Horror Nights announcement season for this year just got a little more interesting. Even though we just got the announcement for Slaughter Cinema 2 this past Friday, we got another house announcement this morning, May 20th at 10.33 a.m., Goblin's Feast is the next house to be announced for Halloween Horror Nights 33. I was very content with Slaughter Cinema 2. I'm very excited for that house. I thought we were good on announcements for a while, but I guess they thought one wasn't enough, and they wanted to give us another house announcement for this year with Goblin's Feast. This is an all-new original concept haunted house, and the description reads as follows. Welcome to the Goblin's Feast Tavern and visit the Goblin Village where a lavish feast is being prepared for goblins, orcs, hobgoblins, and witches and you're the main course. Very interesting vibes we're getting from this description as well as the promo image which I'm putting on the screen right now. Getting a few different vibes from what we see here, one of those being Wicked Growth. I'm getting a big Wicked Growth feel from this haunted house. Whether that's the color scheme of the key art or the addition of witches, maybe we're going to be seeing some more of that lore brought into this haunted house. Of course, another house that this might remind you of is Dueling Dragons Choose Thy Fate. We saw trolls in that house, not specifically goblins, but you know, sort of like high fantasy medieval sort of creatures. Maybe we're going to be seeing some stuff from that house brought in as they sort of expand the lore. I don't think this is a direct connection to Dueling Dragons or Wicked Growth but just sort of the vibes I think are very similar. Really, really curious to see the costume design in this house because with all these creatures, I imagine we're gonna get some really freaky costumes. And I also like that we're going into not only a cool medieval tavern, but also the goblin village. I wonder what that's gonna look like. Are we gonna get some really interesting sets here? Some big sets, some small sets? Who really knows? But I really just love the color scheme. I love the vibe, I love the feel here. I spent a lot of time going through Twitter threads and YouTube videos and forum posts and all that stuff theorizing about what we could see at Halloween Horror Nights. That when we just get a random wild announcement like this, I'm super excited for it. It really caught me off guard. I honestly didn't even think it was real at first. I had to check and make sure it was officially Halloween Horror Nights. Really, we don't have a whole lot of details when it comes to this house as this is an all new concept. But I did want to talk about my theory about the original announcements this year. With Slaughter Cinema 2, I talked about the fact that this could be setting up originals being announced alongside IPs. The only hesitation with that theory was that Slaughter Cinema was such a big deal. It was kind of almost like a Horror Nights original IP. Something that the fans love, something rooted within the lore of Halloween Horror Nights, and something they love to plaster everywhere. But this here shows they are confident in their original concepts for this year. As this is an all new haunted house with no previous connection that we know of to anything else that came before. This honestly felt to me like a house they might put in a dump closer to the event because it is so unknown. But that makes me excited to think that Originals could be taking the spotlight this year. There's also the theory that Goblin's Feast, as well as Slaughter Cinema 2, and maybe the next house to be announced, will be a part of the early three house unmasking the horror tour. Which makes sense as they want to get those houses announced, get that hype building so people book that early three house Unmasking the Horror Tour. This theory very likely could track, so maybe we're getting an IP next as those three house tours usually have one IP and two originals attached to them. But honestly, I have no clue what's going on with announcement season at this point. Honestly, I thought I had an idea of maybe when they would announce something next. They announced something at the end of May, maybe early June for the next announcement, but they totally flipped that on its head. So honestly, I have no clue when our next announcement's gonna come. But let's just savor the moment right now. I'm super excited for Goblin's Feast. I hope you're super excited for Goblin's Feast. What do you think about Goblin's Feast? Are you excited for this house? Does this pique your interest? Are you excited to see original announcements or are you just waiting for those big IPs that are coming to the event? Let me know all your thoughts, of course, in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more about Horror Nights of the past, present, and future, including updates about this year's event as soon as they come, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be really, really appreciated. It would let me know you like these videos and want me to make more of them. Also, as I'm recording this, we just hit 2.5 thousand subscribers. I really want to thank y'all for all the love you've been showing the channel recently. I just want to thank y'all for subscribing, for showing so much love to the videos. There will be more to come, my friends, not just announcements, although I wouldn't mind if they just keep announcing stuff. But anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video, of course. I'll see y'all in the next one. Maybe an announcement, maybe not, most likely not. 
Either way, I'll see you on the next one. And until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.